That was weird. Interesting. I don't know why the mic wasn't working. And it's over here as well. But that's okay. i fix that. I don't know why it was muted. It just, it wasn't muted. It just wasn't, I don't know. It was weird. Anyways, we're here, guys. I'm going to move the microphone. Let's move it to, um, oh, let me just fix it a little more. Is that it's my way? All right. Yeah, I don't know why it was off. You guys can hear Beam and G? I think, let me, let me check here. I think you guys can hear that. What's up, guys? Um, of course, we're Beam and G. We're doing the last testing of the Group B Rally Cars. We've got about 25 or so, making it 2JZ mode. That's fun. We got about 25 cars or so. This is my newest vehicle that I built in a video a couple days ago. Um, it's called the the Bro Dozer, as you'd call a vehicle, obviously, this size. It's very big. It's very sus. Uh, we're going to take it for a drive on this um, groupie-ish circuit that we have going on in the Utah map. What's up, Zodia? What's up, guys? This is exactly what peak performance looks like. So we're, we're going to take this around the track and just get a warm-up lap, basically. I'm doing good, Nathan. How are you, bud? The other kind of slows and show. Oh, oh yeah. Zodia, remind me after the stream and I'll take a look. Because there's no reason why it shouldn't not show. It shouldn't. There's no reason. It should, should be showing. Okay. Uh, we're going to go for a warm-up lap here. And boy, I talk fast. We're going to go for a warm-up lap in the bro dozer. And I'll, I'll show you guys sort of through the track here a little bit. Now, it overheats instantly. Which is fine. It still drives perfectly fine. It just likes to roll full like any good old American truck should, to be honest. We turn right up ahead here. Right through the stop sign because the stop sign doesn't exist. Orthodontist. Hey, that, that's fine. I mean, at least you're getting you want to see someone about something. Might not be the most fun experience, but it's an experience, I guess. We're going to add a fifth gear here. Just sort of coast around the corner. We are not driving this thing that well right now. Again, last day of testing Group B cars. This is supposed to originally be three parts, but it's, it's four parts. That's okay. So, so it's all-wheel drive, not 4x4. Four uh, which is probably helping us because we've got a nice power split. I think it's rear bias like 70% So it's actually pretty rear bias in this thing and it's honestly somehow not even like the worst vehicle possible Yeah, it actually handles pretty decent mini Chris somehow. Oh, okay. We're cutting this corner a little bit here I don't want to hit the rock. Don't hit the rock. We're fine. We cut that corner a little bit. We're okay It's just easy to drive then again. It does have off-road tires um, 395 with so massive size um This is actually better than some people's times, I feel like. That's no problem. That's no problem, Nathan. You do you, man. So we got, of course, the best time ever, which is data.time. Take care, Zodia. Shut up, music. I do have music playing, and it's very quiet. I could change it to something hopefully louder. Let me find, um... Let me find some music that's not, like... As, like... Quiet. I I had some smooth jazz playing last time. What do we have here? We'll play uh we'll play this song. This song someone made me this song a while back. Where is it? Where is it? We're gonna skip a little bit. This is just a bop and tune, honestly. Alright, there we go. We got some some bop and jams. Let me know if it's too loud, guys. Um You made a Peugeot wish me rally car. You, you get an air when you try to upload? Where, where are you trying to upload it, though? That's the question. Depends where you're trying to upload it, you know? Forza Motorsport grinding. There you go, Dominic. Grind while we're just hanging out. That sounds like a good way to spend a Thursday afternoon, night, morning, afternoon, Friday. I don't know, whatever time it is. Needs more rally lights? I mean, this is just a pickup truck. This is just a pickup truck. There's not... It's nothing special. Uh, 116 is a fine time, honestly. It's good volume? Okay, it's good. Okay, let me know if it's too loud or something. Uh, we're gonna try that... Oh, no, for you. We're gonna try this actually one more time with my car. Because I haven't driven my car for a while on this track. We'll do one more lap with my car. The Beam Repository Automation. I have never uploaded to the Beam Repository. So I, I can't offer any advice personally. But uh, if you ask around like the Beam and G Discord or Automation Discord, etc. Then maybe they can help you with that. But I haven't never, I've never done it. So I, I can't, I just can't say. Um, I would take the Thick Dozer on a lap. But it's just, it's so bad. It barely moves. It's just depression uh, in the form of a limousine. Which is great, obviously. Um, wh wh where's the other car I drove? Wh where's my rally car that I made? It's, it's somewhere. Uh, for, wh what color is it? I think it's white. Looking for a white car that's mine. I, I don't even know where it is. I think it's just called the... Uh, is it called... It's called... Uh, where is it? The Seder. That's what it's called. Okay. The car, of course, has to slide to hit as many people. Exactly. we got to slide as much as we can. The bus? bus won't even work on this. Do warm up my car? No, but I'll do it in my car. 
I've only done one. I've only done like one or two laps of my car ever, and my car like is decent. It's decent. It's decent. One elite time. That's really good, actually. This is my car. Looks kind of like ah. Looks kind of like I was gonna say ass. I mean, I said it now. It looks kind of terrible, but that's okay. We're gonna launch this thing. We're gonna go first person. Oh, we're gonna fix the camera a little bit. And there is a way actually to move the camera up. Boom. That's what I learned the hard way. After. So mine's not the fastest thing already. It's only got like 500 horsepower, which is like just above average, I guess. It definitely is slidey, man. My car is just slidey. I, I also just made it pretty quickly for a video, so it's nothing special. It's not bad, though. It's a little bit like like a skating rink, so like up here it's gonna be fine probably up here. It's pretty quick. It's better on dirt, I feel like, than on the pavement. It's still slidey on dirt, but you want it to be a bit more slidey. It's it's not the best handling car, I'll give it that. Is that a compliment? I guess it's a compliment to myself. It's pretty easy to control though. Which is a pro. But if you don't, if you, you just gotta be careful. You gotta baby it a little bit. We're just babying it. We're, we're practicing here. What's been going on with the beam text translate? You saw the game? Yeah, I'm not too sure what the issue is. Um, Usually time trials actually aren't even working for me. So what I do to get time trials working. And I can show you this real quick actually. Uh, what time did I get before? I got myself a 112. So this is now a 1 minute point seven. So it's better. What's up Mason? How you doing bud? Looks like someone pulled this bumper, it's fine. It, it, it stylized a little bit off McLaren, a little bit. Yep. A tank? I plan on making a tank at some point, that's on my list. So to fix my BMG issues, I actually just went to, um, I'll show you guys real quick because if people want to know how to fix. If you're having issues with your time trials and stuff, what I do is I go to repository, I go to mod manager, I just I deactivate, just, it has to be in these exact steps for some reason, I don't know, at least in my opinion. Um, I just disabled all the mods, and then I would actually quit the game, and I would actually uh, verify the game cache, uh, then reload it, uh, activate the mods, and then play. I don't know. New type of, it's, it's like a Stratos ish. It's just worse in a lot of ways. It's not a great car. Uh, we'll hop back into the time trial. We've got my Seder Perfaccia. Now, we're going to keep going down the list here a little bit. It's not a beautiful car. It's kind of ugly, actually, but it's okay. All right. Sleeves are getting rolled up. It's going to be very serious here. We've got about 25 cars to do, then we're going to test the final three, the top three, and see which one comes out on top. We're starting with the uh, Alcina Rally. The Alcina Rally. Hop in, uh, drive that one, obviously, and see if we can get a decent time. It's using this uh, LaFerrari body. It's got solid axles, it looks like. Interesting. The Mio... The Mio Drakester? Which mod is that? Winter Rally car, pretty much, yeah. So how's everyone's Thursdays? What do you guys got planned for the weekend? You guys got some weekend plans and stuff? My phone just gets a bunch of notifications. You know what? I get notifications for every single comment on every video and every thing I do on YouTube. It's crazy. I get notifications every five minutes on my phone. It's fantastic. I love it. All right. This car is a LaFerrari body. It's got a little, it's a little bit aggressive, a little crazy looking. It looks like it's got solid axles front and rear. Yeah. That's a choice. Group A cars. It could be in the list. It could be on the list. We vote, so Shin, so Shin goes, Shin goes. We, we vote, the community votes for the challenges. I don't choose them. So uh, if we're looking for new ideas, you can put, put them forward. We can maybe vote for it. Is it me or is the, what? It, why? Okay, yeah, yes, yeah, Skit. For some reason, YouTube always thinks I'm playing GTA, even though I, I can I confirm here that I'm playing BMG? Let me confirm. Okay. Now refresh it, it should say BMG. I don't know, it, but before it says nothing, it doesn't say I'm playing a game actually for me. Alright, we've got a left Ferrari in front of us, it's got some power, take off tracks control. It's got no game sounds either. This car is totally silent for some reason, which is definitely an interesting take on a La Ferrari. It's very quick actually, it handles pretty good. Weird, really strange. But really straight, it feels like an EV actually, it's very into the power, it's turbo. It feels like it's actually an electric car. It's very quiet, which is part of the reason why it feels electric. But it's also got very instant power. Oh, we made that corner. Nice. It's actually very quick. It actually handles quite good. 
Um, like maybe a little bit of understeer, but honestly, it's it's pretty neutral. It's an electric left forward, basically. Yeah. Stay in third. Let's look at that corner. That corner is always a little bit scary. You can't see over the cars too well, so it's hard to drift. We're gonna do a late turn there. That's okay. One of the best times. You're watching this? Yeah, what's up, man? Uh, do you like the new Beeman GP? I do. The cars look so much better. It is very noticeable, the difference. Um, Actually, probably my favorite thing in the update was just that in general. Not the grid map, not the new car. Probably just that. Um, you broke hello. Well, wait for a sale, Dylan. Maybe it'll come on sale. Christmas sale. Or um, they do a they see the fall sale. So they have four sales a year on Steam. I'm not sure if automation goes on sale or Beeman G. Um... But a 56.4. One of the best times. If I figure out how to reupload my rally car, will you test it? Well, it, it was it for the challenge? Was it submitted before the challenge's deadline? If so, I can take a look. Um, if not, like, the submissions are officially closed. So they actually closed months back. The next challenge is in my Discord. Um, and they are 1960s, like, convertible kind of sports cars. Like, a, they got an MG. MG or um, other another British car. I'm blanking the name right now. I'll, I'll figure it out. I'm doing good, Wesley. How you? How are you, how you doing, man? What's up? What's up, Wesley? Okay, so this car got a 56.4. One of the best times somehow. The car looks. It's not my favorite looks wise. It's a little bit plain. It's a little bit. Yeah. It's got solid axles, which is absolutely wild. What do you think of the ultimate? Which car? Is it a car? What is? What, what is that like now? What if you build a 1940s rally car? I like that. Triumph. Triumph and MG. Yes. Thank you, Dominic. I'm having a brain fart here. Um, okay. I'm trying to think here. So that was a 56.4. Is that one of the best times? That's honestly one of the best times. Somehow. Trying to exactly. Yep. Aventador. Aventador. Oh. I like the Aventador. Like the new, the newest Aventador. Like the, like the, the new version they made or whatever. Great car. Um, I just, I, the best part of the Aventador is just the sound. My dad got to drive one. I got to, hear, I got to watch him drive it. Uh, it just sounds fantastic. It's great. What's up, Magnock? How you doing, bud? I'm doing good. How do I pronounce your name? Jamie's? Jamie's? Is that pronounce it, man? How you doing, bud? All right. A subcompact. It's a very small little sports car. Crown Spitfire, the MG, the MG, whatever. The little little compact roasters. Uh, the Loris Dexter Group B is up next. We we better like hop into cars instead of just chatting around. The Loris Dexter, not free roam. No, no. Loris Dexter, Group B. Um, somewhere, 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 it is a older body. A little slow racing, these rally cars, how many were submitted? There was 100 submitted. There's actually 120 submitted, uh, but 100 made the cuts that weren't disqualified for breaking the rules. And I think we've got about 97 that aren't, that are working in DMG. So almost all, you know, 75% made it in, 70%, 80% made it in. Uh, a lot of cars. I also took my time testing them. So that's, that's on me. Don't try to understand. Ah, fair enough. I'll do my best to pronounce it properly when I'm, when I'm responding to you. I already put a V12 diesel. Oh, did you, you, see, you saw that new video of CarWow today? Did you, did you watch that CarWow video, Sparko? Did you watch it? I didn't watch it. I've already watched a review on it from um, uh, J, 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 JM Does Cars, British car reviewer. He reviewed it. Uh, so th there, there. So Henry, I would say join the Discord. There should be a link to Discord in the in the description of the stream. Um, at the top of the stream, there, sh there should be a working link. If not, let me know. And there, there's a fair bit of rules. The challenge is quite hard. Um, with very strict rules because we'll get a ton of entries. Alright. This car's a little quiet. I like the rat, like the rear. The rear, I like the bars you made. Like the, uh, it's not really a bumper. It's just like a, a frame. It's like a, a protection, I guess. Uh, I don't like the lights. I like the the fans in there. I like the luggage and the, the stuff on top. The fuel cans. We got like a, like a cover on top. Like the rally wheels, of course. I love myself some Mosey rally wheels. The front end, not bad. I like the details with the fans and all this uh, metal work you got there. I like that quite a bit. The design, I don't know if I like it 100%, but all the details, I like a lot. And it sounds good. It's quiet, though. We're going to launch it. We're, we're in park. That's why. It's a manual. Is it a manual gearbox? Automatic gearbox. You went out. You thought out of the box here. Automatic gearbox. We, we just... Held it in first and second there just to make sure it stayed in there, didn't shift for us. Stay in second here because we can. Exactly, a rear bumper that's a tubes. Let's 
It's a little bit, little bit um, under Siri. Plow from plow. Yeah, the the Audi with the, the V12 TDIs. I think they, it's just cool. It's just such a cool car. It's so unique. A uh, crossplay. I, I hope Forza has crossplay. I hope, I hope Horizon Five has crossplay. I'll be pretty sad if it doesn't. But you know, I, I I'm not holding my breath to be honest. So it's a little under Siri so far. The automatic's a little depressing because automation automatics are kind of depressing. But it's decently quick. The brakes a little sketchy. Not bad though. No, we're gonna keep going here. The automatic's kick it down nicely. We're gonna brake again. We're gonna come onto the gravel a little bit soft or dirt, I guess. And brake. The flooring here, yeah, we rotate it nice and fine. We're gonna floor it here in second. Third. I think went to, I didn't even know gear that's now to be honest. We're just in automatic mode. It's fine. We're focusing here. Eyes locked on the game. We're focused. There's a rock there. So uh yeah, I tried to dodge that rock, we couldn't get across it. This four is a rise and four of cross play you know, there you go. Why are manual transitions usually considered higher performance? Uh, I wouldn't say that's true today, but in the past it was true because automatics were a lot slower at shifting. An automatic would take, you know, three, four, five tenths of a second back in the day. Uh, manuals could be done, you know, one or two tenths. A lot faster, lighter as well, etc, etc. More engaging. Rock kills your car. It's fine, it's fine, Lord, we'll get it. Under the snap over steer. A little bit. A little bit. Okay, I keep thinking this thing is like... Not an automatic gearbox. The automatic gearbox is really... I think it's the only automatic gearbox. Um, the gearing is quite good. The shifts are very depressing. As you can see, it just sort of sits at redline for a second, then shifts. Braking a little bit, and then we're turning. I don't want to turn too much while braking, if we can help it. Braking here. Turn in. Not as good of a turn, but still fine. Play BMG G with the racing wheel. I'm playing BMG with the racing wheel. What are you talking about? I think I should play BMG with a with, with a guitar here. Okay, we're, we're cutting this corner. Yep. That was fine. I couldn't make that turn. There's a bit of understeer on, on the gravel here. I think play, play, is playing BMG with a guitar hero guitar possible? I want to play BMG with a guitar hero guitar. Doesn't like the shift. Still a fine time. For an, this is probably one of the only automatic cars. You need to rejoin the Discord. I didn't submit one. There you go. Rejoin, submit it. There you go. Manners are more fun to drive and you have more control. Fun to drive. See, I, I prefer an automatic. I know. I'm sacrilegious. A nice, a nice dual cluster or sequential. I love it. Yeah, Audi has made some sleepers in the past. Prefer, I, I prefer like a, I, my personal preference would be a dual clutch transmission IRL sequential. Awesome too. What's up, Mr. Crunchy? How you doing, bud? All right, uh, one hundred five point three. A fine time. I don't mind it. Uh, not the fastest in a straight line, and not the best handling, um, and a pretty slow shifts. The gearing was good though. We'll give it the gearing was good. The style, I love the effort put into it. So overall, pretty decent. If you have fun, exactly, exactly. Whatever you prefer, Sparko for a transmission. Um, this is a 105.3. Manuals for control, manuals for control, and for, and for thrill. People, a lot of people prefer manuals for fun. Alright, we'll hop into the next car. It's gonna get hot in this closet, I can tell it's already getting steamy in here. Uh, we got the Mechanish. Uh, I can never pronounce this car ever right. Mechanish? The, the Mac Anish? Why is it A uppercase? The Mac Anish? The Mechanish? Mac Anish? Yes. Uh, the XRB20 Concepts up next. We'll hop into that thing. Uh, and, and set a lap time, obviously, with it and see what we can do with it. Uh, the Magic of Koopa is not being tested. There's the Mechanish. Mechanish. I hopefully... Well, I, I think I've seen a list of uh, cars that are going to be for sure in Forza Horizon 5. I'm looking forward to it. I hope, cross my fingers, I can get a press copy um, and get some content out. Ride the closet. I am in a literal closet. I'm literally in a closet right now, guys. This is the green screen behind me. I keep forgetting. I, I gotta print off Dabs' picture. So it deserves to go on the wall. Oh, we got this nice aggressive front end here. I don't know if I like some of the things. I don't like the like, H sort of in the grill. I know it's like a, uh, I like a part of the fixture. But the uh, rest of it's fine. I don't, I don't know if I like these lights here, but the layout's nice. I like the side, the, the decals, or decals, as I like to pronounce it. 
Yeah, one thing I don't like about four is I, I don't like much of the engine sounds to be honest, Trey. Like in general, I think lots of them are just kind of meh. The automation mod with the highest top. See, automation like like the body, because there's a couple bodies that are crazy fast. I like the back end though, nothing nothing bad to say about the back end. I like that, okay, fair enough. Hey, Dominic, teach their own, right? Teach their own, whatever whatever you prefer, right? Personal preference is what it is. I'm not saying it's it's like you know worse. I'm just saying I don't prefer it. I have an electric car. Hey, uh, some people prefer the sounds of an engine, you know. There are some pros to uh, gasoline cars. They can be lighter. Especially in a race form, I think, to be honest. And so far, its handling is actually quite good. Most impressive. It's not the fastest car in a straight line, but the most impressive part so far is the handling on dirt and on pavement. That's quite good. It's up there. Uh, it's definitely uh, cut from the same cloth as some other really fast cars that are racing today. Now, why is there a bump there? I have heard the audio demo actually, and I still don't like the sounds. I don't know. Mach tw 26, how fast is that in like kilometers an hour? Tesla, yeah, I hope it's a Tesla in Forza. That'd be fun to have. Was there Tesla in Forza Horizon 4? I don't I don't think so. I, I, I haven't played boatloads of Forza. I just don't think there's Tesla. I have played Forza, but not like tons. There's a better turn as well, even. Stop cutting the corner. Which corner? The one with the barrels? I'm driving it like like the barrels don't exist. Any any object can, you can go through is is allowed for the course. What there should have been on this track is more markers. There's not enough markers because right now I can just cut the entire track as long as the, the objectives get from point A to point B. Right? I wish they had more markers. Tesla was in Forza Horizon 3. Oh, it was in 3. Oh, I didn't know that. 30,000 kilometers, and that's pretty fast. Yeah. That's a little, it's a little quick. I mean, like, like the, like, like the fuels that Porsche, for example, is preaching for, um, you know, the power of gas cars in the future is, is it's not going to happen on a large scale, I think, but, but nice to have it. They give video about rally cars, rally hot hatch. I have made some rally cars in the past, but I, again, I want to go back. Uh, and do another JDM sports car. All right, good time. 101.2. Uh, handling was really good. Not the fastest car. Uh, but the brakes were fine. Everything else is fine. Like I, nothing negative to say. It, it's average time. It's not below average in any aspect. I feel like. Old Tesla Roadster. Ah, interesting. Interesting. Um, the Group B Rally TT Challenge Car Porsche Style Group B. That's the name, and it's kind of a mouthful. We're just gonna call it the next car on the list, because uh, yeah, that's that's what what it is. It should be somewhere down here. It's the not not the Group B, the Group B Porsche. Adding gears would increase weight for sure. Yeah, it might not be a Hellcat anymore if it doesn't have the Hellcat motor, but it could be... They could have a new name for it, you know? The Thundercat. No? It doesn't have the same ring to it. it it'll be something, you know? The Volkswagen... I've seen the, I, I've seen the Audi R. We done the V10. It, yeah, Matt, Mason, send me a link. I can check it out. Yeah, Audi is definitely... Volkswagen is really quickly pushing EVs. Um, partially because... Dieselgate. Um... It's simple. It's not the most detailed car, but the, the things there are nice. I love this body. It's a Porsche. It doesn't really look like a 2020 car, but it sounds pretty good. The Hell Pig, yeah, pretty much. There's a lot of wheel spin there. A scary amount of wheel spin. Long gears. It's very, very low grip. Like, you can hear the tire sweat is rear engine. The manual gearbox, definitely a, a, an older feeling of a car. It almost feels like I'm driving... I just spit a bit, but that's fine. It almost feels like I'm driving on cross-plice. 
the hard corner to do. So, um, Sarcastian, I hope that's, probably, I hope that's how I pronounce your name. Uh, this, the missions for this challenge were taken a while back, like, the fucking months back. The next challenge is linked in, uh, well, if you join my Discord, link is in the description of the, the stream here. Uh, the rules for the next challenge are on there. Uh, the theme is 1960, I think it's 1968 is the max year. Um, sports cars, they have to be a roadster, it's convertibles. I mean, it doesn't, you know, it can be a hard top, a soft top, whatever convertible you choose. Um, convertibles. And then there are some strict rules, and they are all in the Discord link, uh, is in the description of the stream. This thing is not like rotating around at all. I try, I tried my hardest there to rotate it. It definitely has Porsche vibes. I don't think this car is intending to be the fastest car, it's just, it's a classic Porsche. We're kind of cornered a little bit, we're okay. We're not, we're, we're not setting records, I don't think, anyways, we're okay. Ooh, a little sketchy there. Two speed on the rerolls. Yeah, some Porsche have two speeds. Or some some Porsche. Some EVs have two speeds. Um there, there's pros and cons really of it. Your beat I Mason, Mason. I, I never put on your beat ever. No your beat ever. Never. Never. Alright. 105.7, a fine time. Um, manual gearbox is definitely a bit slower. The tires, it feels like on gravel it was pretty fine, but on pavement it, it, it was really spinny. You can't do it, you, you Dominic, you're gonna get it done. Come on. Um, yeah, 107, 105.7. Definitely, uh, definitely difficult to drive on the pavement for sure. Sketchy car, sketchy car. Uh, we'll hop into the Havoc. And Havoc's in all caps there. Havoc! gonna yell it obviously uh the 2.5 t or hopefully it's an inline five because that's kind of cool uh if not that's okay i guess as well ha the havoc 2.5 tr we'll hop in and uh yeah it's in all caps it's interesting body as well i hope yeah uh, the uh v12 tdi would be pretty cool i'm excited just for forza horizon in general um Oh, you don't have the game yet? Right. That's okay. The next challenge... These cars will be tested a lot faster in the future than, like, this challenge. This challenge is a lot of a lull. Back end. Super aggressive. Single exhaust helmet. It's an LI5, so there's no dual exhaust. Very aggressive. I don't know if I'm, you know, smitten with the, the rear end design. But it's very interesting. I like it. Super aggressive. It's quite 2020. Well, Patrick, get some sleep. What are you doing? Oh, the front end. I think there's a lot of good elements here. I think I've actually, I've actually would have taken out the top headlights and put these circle lights on top or something like that is what I would have done. Personally. But it's not bad. It's interesting for sure. Uh, inline 5. Front wheel drive. All wheel drive. Okay. All wheel drive. Or is, it, is it a transverse rear wheel drive? Okay. It's all wheel drive inline 5. Interesting. Front, it's front, it's front bias though. It's front based. We're not going to lock the diffs. The manual gearbox. Sounds good. Ooh, a little understeer there, a little sketchy. Stay in second. Nice turn there. Take care, Tristan. Have a good one, bud. Inline 6. It does sound like an end. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's an inline 6 trade. Maybe it's an inline 6. 2.5 liter inline 6. I was hoping it would be a 5 pod because 2.5 is like a generic inline 5 sound. Well, it's a little sketchy. A little sketchy. We're definitely putting the car's rally prowess to the test here. We're going off roading there a little bit. Oh, that, that's crash. Yep. The garbage cans. It's an inline 6. Yep. I have a green screen behind me. Yeah, yeah. Is it, is it working? I'm pretty sure it's... It, it, uh, what body is it? Let's check. Oh, what body is this? I'm not sure what body this is, actually. It could be the... It's not the AMG GT body. I don't know what body it is. It could be... I don't know what body. Maybe the Pulse? I don't know. Generic body. I play with the steering wheel. 
Yes, kid, have a good have a good night, man. And I'll see you. Um, I'll probably do a stream this weekend, guys. I'm thinking. I think I'll do a stream where I'm just gonna play some BMG multiplayer with you guys. Um, and anyone's welcome to join in. But I'll let you guys know uh, on Discord as well as YouTube a day before Ryan. Could be an Aston Martin body, could be. Creature's working. All right, thanks, Micro. Appreciate that, bud. There's rocks there. I, sh I should've known that. You want flathead hemi heads? I think it'd be cool. I want more EVs and BMG. I know, I know, I'm a, I'm a sucker. So there is no low end power in this engine at all. You can definitely tell. It needs, it needs the revs to make power. It's depressing at low revs. It just bogs down, etc. Cut in the corner here a little bit. We're fine. Automation, yeah. Yeah, flatheads would be good automation. We need more in automation. Than, like I said, EVs. BMG and automation. Oh, uh, so what should happen, uh, Meteo, is uh, the moderator should let you know. Then they'll give you, like, a little bit of time to fix up your car. Welcome, Dino Dude, man. Thanks for hanging out. We're just testing some groupie rally cars. Might be a little loud. I'm talking loud here. Because all I hear is an engine roaring. Breaking. Ah, oh. ah. Oh. It, it might, yeah, Dominic, it, we might do it Sunday, we might do it next week though, so if not, we'll do it in the sports in the future. A Jeep rally car, a Jeep rally car would be interesting. L I think like a, a Dakar Jeep, a Jeep made for Dakar, so like long distance rally basically would be pretty interesting. No problem, Trey. We're breaking here. We're gonna keep going, we kissed the wall a little bit, we've tested this car a couple times, but we don't want to restart if we can help it. Kiss the wall a little bit there. Yeah, the barrel has no collision, but this bin does. I know. I wish that bin at the end didn't have collision. It frustrates me to no end. Usually I'd restart that, but we've given a couple tries. And there's around a one-minute car, but be a one-minute three today. That's okay. It's still pretty quick. Um, it handled pretty good. The lag was was undeniably there for the engine. It was very slow, low speeds, low revs. It got up there pretty quick at high revs, but you needed to wind it up first. 103.7. Still a fine time, though. We'll take that. That was the Havoc. 2.5 TR. 103.7. Uh, the Lancelot uh, Quantron. The, the Quantron? The Lancelot, oh, hold on, the, La the, the Lancelot Qu Quantron B, that's an interesting name, yeah, the Quantron. You can call me, call exactly, you call me whatever, exactly, call me the crate works, I'll take that, I'll take that. Uh, and that should be right here, oh, it's a crossover. Decent time. Ah, uh, I mean... Nathan, I mean, uh, it depends where you're from. If you're from like the UK, where parts are more common, or Europe in general, then yeah, I think so. And if you like, if you're even if you're in North America, if you like the car, then yeah, it, it's expensive, and fixing up a car is not worth it a lot of the time, especially like old, really old cars. But if you like it, then go for it. You know, take care, take care, man. All right, you have a blueback taxi testing. We can do something like that. I, I want to do some BMG testing videos. Uh, I, I plan to do another BMG comparison video soon. Some more BMG stuff. Um, look at this crossover front of us. It looks very aggressive. It's a little flashy. A lot of chrome. But it sounds fast. It looks aren't my taste, but you know what? There's effort put into it. We'll take that. It's pretty cool. It sounds pretty good. It's a V10. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I like the slide. What's up, Gormox? How you doing, bud? Yeah, I, I think this car is a little bit, uh, you know, flamboyant in its design. It's a little bit scary. It's a little bit interesting. It's an interesting design. The suspension's a little bouncy as well. She shoots in the air. The brakes are fine. 
Uh, is there's quite a bit of body roll. It likes to waft as well. It's just sort of wafty. Let's see. Feels more like a couch than a car. A, bit, a little bit of a poor focus. I can see a little bit of that. Uh, the chrome is not really indicative of focus to me, but the rest of it is not bad. My favorite car of all time? Oh, that's a tough one. That's a honestly a tough question. I would say my own cars that I own personally. Because I don't think I can really love a car unless I've driven it and, you know. Oh, there's a trash can. This thing does not like to turn on pavement. It sort of glides around. Focus the type R. Yeah, I can see that. The side events on the side are a little extreme, though. I don't know what that matches. Just announced I'm alive. Oh, did I not? Did I not post in Discord? I thought I posted on Discord. What scenario? Uh, this is a custom scenario, Dino Dude. Um, it is posted in my in my Discord. If you scroll up a bit in the Discord announcement chat, or if you just ping me in Discord later, um, then I can find it for you and send you the um, the track. It's it's posted in my Discord somewhere in the hashtag announcements page, and you just scroll up a bit and you'll find just like a file, and that's it. Did I forget? I don't I don't think I forgot. Like I think I, I'm pretty sure I said everything and I was gonna go post it, but I guess I just didn't. Oh, okay. I'm not cutting the last corner. I'm not, what am I cutting the last corner? Like, it's not cutting the corner at all. I never. I only cut the corner once ever. The car drives okay. Kind of depressing in a lot of ways. Um, but, much as myself, obviously. <laughs> Cries inside. Okay. 102.7 is a fine time. I did forget. Alright, that's okay. We take that. 102.7. It's fine. Don't you got a polo? Yeah, insurance. Oh, uh, so yeah, you're from. Were you from the UK, Nathan? Were you from the UK? Yeah, UK. Yeah, insurance is, can be pretty expensive in the UK. Yeah, I got the best lap ever. Of course, day to time. Uh, BMG is broken right now. It's really terrible. Terrible. Could you copy the driving characteristics of the prefabricated cars in order to make a car? I mean, you could. Yep. You could. Uh, it'd be a bit of a pain, but you can like you can make your car basically drive just like a BMG car for the most part, in, in a lot of ways at least. Um, it won't be it won't be the exact same, but you can make it very similar to a BMG car. It'll be a bit worse because it's not a BMG car, uh, but it takes a lot of effort, and I don't think that's worth it in almost any case. The VC Pano Group B is up next. We'll hop into that. It's got an interesting name. It's like piano, but it's not. So that's interesting for some reason. Okay, it's a little hatchback. We take those. All right. Yeah, my time was very great. Obviously, data redacted. I, I, yeah, it's fine. All right, we got a hatchback. We got Premier League in the back here. All right. Uh, some some decals in the front here. Really aggressive small headlights. There's not really much though. Okay, so it's in a closed off grill. It's like an EV, but it's not. Interesting. Rear quit. That's not bad. Well, how much is insurance? Like, I think insurance for my car. I've got. I, for both my cars. Both my cars is like 275 a month for both my cars. Uh, this body is a Volkswagen Golf body. Um, it's got an Audi grill. It's got some very squinty headlights that are very small. Why is this camera so low? Could be rally cars. Um, possibly I know. Uh, all the challenges, we do vote for them in my Discord. So if you want to say what we do next, you can vote in Discord. Um, we tend to stay away from race cars a lot of the time. This, this was this was definitely um, not the norm. It's just a bit more fun. It, it was something different. People wanted some crazy high horsepower stuff this time. We got some crazy high horsepower stuff in a rally form. It actually handles quite good. 200, yeah, 270 where I live for insurance. That's for two That's for two cars. One car is not that much. Uh, one car is about, like, I think one's, uh, maybe more for insurance. One car is 250 a month around, right? About $2,500 a year, so maybe a little less than, maybe say 175 
I'm using a G29. Alana, we just passed your car. Uh, we are on the the, the uh, VC panel. We didn't just pass. We passed your car a few cars ago. We are on the VC panel group B. No, these are okay. Oh, fair enough. Yeah, price of insurance number are different everywhere. This thing handles quite good as well. What's the current best time? Uh, I'll get to take a look in a sec, Phil. Phantom, I guess. This one's actually real. I'm not, I'm not talking, so I'm focusing here. It's actually really good to drive. Really good to drive. One of the best handling cars overall, I'd say. Not the fastest outright, but it handles quite good. I don't think we'll send any records, but... That last corner is a painful one. Painful corner. Painful corner. Saw cars. Yeah, 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 well, we've been lost those, Oscar. Oil views. Yeah, I'm using a wheel, yeah, G29. Lodge like G29. And then pedals up. We got a shifter here as well, the actual shifter, the H pattern. Um, but I don't use it for these events usually because they require a little more uh a little more focus for two ends of the wheel, especially. Breaking here, we're gonna come into a little Yeah, we came into a little late there, intentionally. So I wanted to try Oh, we tried it. Tough. And the last corner is a painter with this card, I don't know why. So why does the announcement have to be late? It's one of those things, Landon. I, I was gonna post the announcements, I actually copied the URL for the stream, and then I went back to my stream and I just didn't post it. I'm gonna try to focus on this one a little bit here. Kiss Noel, we came into it a little wide. Where'd he go this time? Not doing it justice, but that's okay. Oh wait, we're gonna crash again? This is taking a lot of tries. Uh, how do mine use gears at a 102? I can check in a second. They did about a 102, 103, I think, so uh, the average time, basically. Um, its handling was quite good, if I remember. It wasn't the fastest in the bunch, but its handling was like above average, so that was like the, uh, the notable stuff of it. break here, then we're gonna come in, and then we're gonna go like this. Breaking down a second, stay in second here for a second. What do you think a future rally car will look like? Electric. Probably, to be honest. I'd like to see an electric rally car. I think that'd be cool. I think it's probably a little less safe than maybe gasoline, but, you know, I don't know. You never know. Bad time. 56.6. We take that. Your car's OP. Yeah, your car's pretty good. We also see red. That's automation for you. Demon G. You're burning stuff. Uh, 56.6. Grid time. Grid time actually better than what I thought. We could probably even go it down a little faster. Probably would have been the best time, if not one of the best times. Um, we did it perfectly. The Group C race cars. Um, uh, was it the one with shiny art and stuff? What, are you asking about my body in particular? Did Phantom's car get tested? Phantom's car got tested a while back, I think, right? No, Phantom's car, you haven't sent me your car, right, Phantom? Yeah, you gotta send me yours still. 50.4. Well, I'm not gonna promise look at 50.4 because I only do a couple tries. Yeah, you're quite, you're quite alive for you. Yeah, I, I didn't notice that. Um, so best times. Let's see best times so far. It's hard to sort by. So, uh... Let's see here. One car's got a, we got a 56.4. 55, so Costco's is 55.7. There's a 54.1. And a 54.4. I think that's the best. So 54.1s 54 I think is the best so far. A couple 56s. Some 57s. 
55.6? Yeah, 55.7 actually. Um, this is the last batch, yep. Alright, not bad. We'll hop into the next one though. We got the Typen RS2500 Group B. Typen. That is... I forget whose brand is I, I recognize the name. I know the, I know the name. I know the name. I'll get it. I'll get it. Who's in the Lotus body? Sometimes I just don't remember, Lana. I should have posted it, but it is what it is. The next ones will get tested in a more orderly fashion. Me, Beep's car? Yes. I recognize the name. I know he's on a type and brand. All right. Lotus body. Max, a little simple. We got our uh, lights. We got a massive wing. Jeez Louise, that is a wing. Were wings allowed? I honestly can't remember, but if the car's in, now the car's in. You fix the time trial glitch? I mean, the time trial glitch works. It, it just looks wonky, but it works. Well, well, well are you going to send Oh, uh, 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 if you don't send it today, I'm not going to retest it probably in a stream, but I can test it after we can see what it gets for times, too. Good night, Nathan. All right, we got the Lotus body in front of us. We got a nice interior as well. We got some roll cages inside. We got these rally wheels. Aggressive looking car. I think it fits the part. We'll launch it. We're going to restart it anyways. I'm moving the camera up a little bit. All right, there we go. We got a truck camera on it now. We're above the car itself. Launch it. That's some short gearing, which is fine. I don't mind it. Definitely rally car gearing. That's probably the most rally car gearing so far, which is, there's pros and cons. Oh, it's the top track. Gosh darn, I crashed. Um, there is a little bit of straights in this, which is why rally gearing is not the best, but the rest of it's really good for that. It is definitely a rally car. Breaking here is fifth, fourth, cruising through here, fifth, breaking. Perfect entrance and exit there. Almost crashed against the rock. Well, I whipped it out of the way really carefully there. We're going on the edge, we're fine. All right, we're in the same fifth here. It's a little sketchy. It's it's a hard car to drive. It's not like, it's not like, it's not, it's terrifying. It's not like that, it's just hard to, to be really precise with it. We'll take it. It's looking to drive. Good night, Finley. Have a good night, man. And hey, the barrels, yeah, the barrels, you can drive right through them. That's my policy. All right. 56.7, good time. All right, Brandon, I'll see you in a bit. No problem, bud. 56.7 is a reasonable time. Uh, I think it's like top five, actually. So it's a good time. Really good time. The previous car got 56.6. Really good time. Car drove good. Uh, oh, only, it's not, I honestly don't have anything to complain about. Honestly. Uh, maybe the gearing was a little short at some points. It required you to shift a lot more than I probably would have liked. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So as we went to VC, I, I'm not going to try more than like three or four times though. So, it, you know, I might not get the best time. I'll do my best, obviously. We'll see if we can beat the record. Uh, we got the Mudbug Dragonfly S4, which is an interesting name in itself. Plop in the mud bug. It's a very cute name, actually. Uh, mud bug, mud bug. Where are you, mud bug? It's a weird name. I, I, I don't know why it's weird. Uh, the mud bug. Some of these cars are look at there. I was, I was gonna say some of these cars are missing. It was, it was good. It was quite good at accelerating. It was, uh, but also like the shift times. It's got lots of power. Like the shift times, you, you take it. Yeah. It, it was quite difficult to drive, but. Like, maybe it was easier to drive, it could do better, but I think on pavement it was great. I'd say just the gearing. Maybe a little longer would be nice, but... Uh, this is a stream for the Group B cars. Yes, the cars were submitted months ago. I know, there was a bit of a delay. A little bit. There's not a lot of cars with interiors. I don't make much cars with interiors myself, so... Uh, do, do we like that? Do this. All right. Two cars, two in the top, and there you go. Uh, very low sound here. I like the uh, red vents. That's a nice touch. It's, it's 
The body's old, but the, like the design's nice and new. I like that. I don't like the back bottom, but the tail lights fit well. And the grill and stuff there. It's S4. So this is like a Lancia Delta S4. Is that what this is based off of? I don't know. We'll launch anyways. That's a really weird. That's a really weird camera. Really weird. Okay. I don't know why the cameras. We'll try driving it with interior camera, I guess. Hey, Michael? M Michael? We're driving inside the car this time because I can, I guess. It definitely gives you a bit of a rally vibe now that we're inside the car. No, I tried to whip it around. Your work? Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out. Uh, can you try a better camera angle and test mine? Uh, if, if we got time, boom. If we got time. I know. I only learned about the, the, the camera angle changes after. If we got time, boom. Is this Phantom? No. Phantom's like, nah, we're not doing that. We're breaking here. It's a little bit understeering, a little bit of front plow there. Just sort of plows into the corners. Not as I'd like it. Nice high red line, 9,500 RPM or so. Pretty aggressive. Gonna take the jump here. We're gonna try to cut this corner a little bit. We're fine. This way, back around the other way. We're good. Breaking here down a third, second. Not a bad time. I want top one. You mean then you're stupid? Well, Costco, Costco. The, the thing is, I can pick and choose who I test. Uh, I'm gonna do a similar stream exactly, exactly. Squirrels, 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 squirf, squirf. I can't pronounce your name. I'm trying here. Yeah, exactly. We'll, we'll see what we get when I test it, Venom. Hopefully, it's pretty good. Uh, do you know if you have done the one by Team C Gaming? Um, what would you know what yours was called? I, I I can't search by who made it. I only could search by the name. I know. Yeah, older cars are a lot of fun. They are terrifying, but a lot of fun. Uh, this was the uh Mudbug Dragonfly S4, and I got a time of fifty six, fifty eight point eight, fifty eight point eight. You can't other kind of your card. Uh yeah, five you yeah. I did one before that was that was an older Porsche style body. It was called the Group B Rally Twin Turbo Challenge Car Porsche style Group B. I did one in the call back that. That could have been it. We'll load up the Hussar Katar Katar Katardo. The Hussar Katardo. That's uh, a little difficult for me to say. Uh and uh we'll, we'll drive it, obviously, like I'm driving all the other cars, because what else do you do on a uh a Thursday night alone in your closet softly crying uh the name of who made it or, or what or who's name what that was yours okay yeah, I tested yours a little bit ago um that one got a 105.7 about uh, around the average time um I'm trying to think it was a little like it, power was uh fine speed was pretty fine the brake was pretty fine uh, one thing, it was just a little bit sketchy to drive um as in um it didn't feel like there was much, too much grip. Like, it was always a little slide. Maybe water tires overall would have been nice. We got this Lotus in front of us. Lotus body. Again, we got these very close, uh, clo close in headlights. A little bit close in, for my opinion. I'm um, cars. It could be someone's. I don't know who's 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 who. Uh, great of retail. This is what we got. This Lotus exhaust in the back here. It's a Lotus. Okay, it's a Lotus. A really tall wiper. I think it's for first hinge, which is interesting. Oh boy, this is a little scary. Oh boy, it definitely likes to uh, kick out this thing. Oh wow, it is very oversteery. It's constant oversteery. 
We're gonna move the camera up a little bit. Try it again. Lotus body is a fine body. Just store it. It's definitely a Widowmaker of a car. It's made a rear engine. Um, you get this very snap over steer. Like, you're just driving fine here. And of course, when you brake and the back end just comes out from underneath you. Ooh, ooh, it's sketchy. Wider tires in the rear, please. We'll be needed or I'll be able to drive. I'll restart that. Oh, yeah, it's rear wheel drive for sure. Is it all wheel drive? I don't know. Let's, uh. I can't tell from this angle at all, actually. Alright. Focus. This is a serious lap ride. Come on. I can see the map type in there for sure with the headlights and stuff. Maybe the rear tail as well. Oh, it's so over Siri. It's always drive? Okay. It feels very rear biased. Oh my god. It's a Widowmaker. I like this thing. It's so dangerous. Jeez. And that was just some nuts over Siri. It really kicked out there and wanted to kill me. We gotta baby this thing a little bit here. Just a little bit. It might have square tires. It might have square tires. I think you're right. It's nice for turning like that because it's just got oversteer like mad. We're gonna try to stick to the right side a little more because there's a rock up ahead here. We don't want to hit that rock right there on our left. We just passed it. Gonna cut this a little bit. Going slow though, not on throttle because the oversteer is killer. Nope, nope. We're off the track a little bit, we're okay. I'm gonna break a little bit more here and slow down just a little bit while coming to this corner. And the last turn was very nice. We take that, we take that. Under one minute. And it did quite well. Landed. Alright. Not bad. Ugh. Yeah, this would be terrifying IRL. Terrifying. Uh, will you have horsepower weight figures for the 60 convertibles? You, so, originally max up. Um, we did. Um, have figures. We actually, I actually have all of the horsepower and weight of every car. Uh, but due to how it was being set up, and I actually, I, when I did the test originally setting this up, I couldn't see the issue, because from my perspective, it was totally fine. Um... But it became an, an apparent issue after the challenge was set up, after we got a bunch of entries, that it's really difficult to pin whose car is whose. So that's why there's no name. That's why there's no name of the Discord members in this. The next challenge, we should have the horsepower, um, and the uh, the weight isn't BMG. We can see when we load up the cars, but the horsepower for sure. Why stream more than vids? What, what do you mean, Russell? What do you mean? I've got I've, I've done lots of videos. I've got I've got way more videos than streams. Hello, Destruct Dis Destructionator. What's up, bud? All right. It was a difficult car to drive for sure. Uh, but a 58.8. Do we get that down? 58.8. Fine time. That was the Hussar. 58.8. The same time as the previous car, which is the Mudbug. We got the Ruthenia. Um, the Simar Simargle ORB. I, I can't. I can't pronounce these words. Data time. I know. Data time is the best. The best time ever. Uh, we will load up the Ruthenia next, and uh, of course drive it. Obviously, like one does for cars. The Ruthenia. Where is the Ruth? There's the Ruthenia. I will hop in. Exactly, yeah. The new submission method, although I'm going to manually have to look and write down the um, the horsepower of the cars. Again, um, I can modify the bot probably. I can get the, I, I can get the, um, the developer to modify first. Um, so we can have it inputted. But um, it's much easier to take submissions. It's it's just much better. Much better. Data time, it, data, data time is the best time ever. Yeah, it took me a while to pronounce your- I took, it took me a little bit of thinking to pronounce your name. Just a little bit. I'm like, Destructionator. Took a second. Alright, 
make a car. There you go. Make a car, man. The next one, next challenge is going to be um, uh, 1960s sports cars. They're all convertibles. All right. The initials for my car experimental rally would be ah, fair enough. Now nah, makes more sense. Ah, good car overall. Yeah, driving the dire will be much more harder than BMG. BMG is easy. So we got this car in front of us. Uh, it's got some very flamboyant yellow and blue color color scheme going on here. Very aggressive, very low front and headlights. Looks like a non street car, looks like a race car, which I take it. I can I like the front end more than the back end, but that back end's fine. The wheels, they're four lugs, which is terrifying, knowing that my lug nuts will finish the snap, honestly, it's terrifying. And a V8, I think. The brakes. There's no ABS, which sounds good on paper, because you're saving some money, but it's not good in practice. No ABS, this needs to be a handful and a half to drive. Brakes are going to lock up every corner unless we're careful, which I'm trying to be careful. Oh. Oh. These brakes are really bad. Note to self, guys, if you have the ability to use ABS, Every single time use ABS. Never, never not use ABS. ABS is, is, yeah, very much needed. Could be a boxer. Hey, take care of Jay. Have a good old bet. Thanks for hanging out. Bit of a sketchy corner there. We're going to keep going anyways. Oh, those brakes are really bad. Really bad. Really terrible brakes. Maybe this is for me, yeah. Fair enough, Phantom. I mean, like, the, I think they're needed. Minus 15 quality. There you go, Trey. Trace, Trace, giving us pointers here. I'm not going to give you less weight. It's the way you should say the same, because, um, changing the quality of the, um, that, sl uh, that slider shouldn't affect weight. Unless you have power steering or no power steering, I think. I think that affects it, I don't know. Come on here. That brakes are nasty. Really bad. They lock up really quick. Besides, that wasn't too bad, though. These are Discord challenge cards, exactly, yeah. You straight piping your, uh... Probably... Yeah, that'd, be, that'd be fine, Philip. I mean, my Maverick is, is basically straight piped, right? It's it's just got one straight through muffler. There's, there's just no... There's just, um... It, it's just a fiberglass muffler. There's nothing in it, just fiberglass insulation. 101.8, fine time. Uh, the car brakes were terrible. Very terrible. Um... Just be honest there. Uh, the rest of it was pretty fun. Power band was uh, a little bit low down. Not too much power low down. Up up top was fine. Um, the handling was fine. The brakes were just not good at all. Uh, besides that, it did okay though. We've got like 10 cars left or less. The like modern cars because of the stance. Their tires are so much more beefy. But yeah, for sure. For sure. That's, that's, that's valid. Oh god. J just make your uh, Yugo into a, a Lancia clone basically. So, up next, the Data Aboto, the Albato, the Albato, the Data Albato Type B. We're going to pronounce it that way. Uh, and load it up. Any car called Data is a car I like because this, this game just gives you lots of data. Tells us all the data on the side. It's a very it's a classic body though, but that's okay. Oh, the air thing. There you go. Get some water. Everyone stay hydrated, guys. Staying hydrated is the most important part of the live streams. Uh, it's like 35 degrees probably in my closet. Now it's getting up there. Actually, yeah, I should have a temperature gauge, actually, is what I should get. Stream donation goal. My hair is tangled AF right now, which is great. All right. This thing. Like the lights. Like the light on top. I don't like these circle vents on the side there. What would be your manufacturer of choice if it was a modern groupie? Lancia. No question asked. That should be drawing scarf. There you go. I like, I like the, the um, 
the lines for the headlights. I like that part. I'm not sure if I like the side grills here, but the front splitter is nice. It's a classic body. It doesn't look 2021, but the pieces there can look nice in it. Chad is very well behaved. We're going to turn off traction control, relaunch it. All right. I drink soy because, yeah. Soy boy sauce? I don't think, I don't, I don't drink soy sauce while playing a game that sounds very dehydrating. Soy sauce is like 30% salt. I'd probably die if I drank soy sauce. Some air there, we're fine. Soft in the bench, and actually the right amount of softness I feel like for this track. So far, in that first bump there. Staying third. Hamlin's fine. A little bit of understeer. Above average. Beautiful entry and exit there. We're gonna keep going here a little more. Stick to the left if we can, and then cross over to the right, right here. Not the middle, that's good. There we go. This thing's setting a great time so far. Great pace. Breaking out a second. Got a first. Great time. Great time. All right. Great time. 55.8. I think that's almost top. I think that's fourth place, actually. The worst American car. Perry's, yeah, that could be the list. Man, that's no problem. Streams are for everyone, man. Thanks for hanging out anyways, though, for a bit. Uh, this has got a 55.8. Um, good time. It cost us with 55.7, so almost beat Costco there. Almost pushed one of the top three. I'm crossing my fingers that happens, to be honest. I'm just, I'm just crossing my fingers that happens. That'll be great. Uh, yeah. Up next car, we got the Ford, we got the Ford RS200 Retro Modern. I think I've seen it before. It should be somewhere. Where is it? Oh, wait, Ford. Well, I don't know why I was looking so far down. Not the Fjord. The Ford, right here. There we go. We'll hop into that. If you, if RS200 is a great car. It's just a great car. I love the RS200. They're crazy expensive, actually. But, you know, we'll hop into that and drive it for a race here. See if we can do a fair time. Hopefully, we can get a good enough time. I mean, that's the goal, anyways. We'll see. All right. Not bad. Very aggressive looking. Or hot sauce. That, that's one way to get cool. Stay hydrated, guys. You got a few more days, Trey. I know. There's it seems like a short deadline. All right. This, car, this car's a beast. Well, what's up? Is it Margarine Enjoy? Or do, I, do you just enjoy Margarine? Interesting name. Welcome back, Orbox. All right. Very aggressive. We are very aggressive. This is a this is a retro modern car for sure. It's got some hints of Ford RS200, obviously. By the front and the back is definitely a more modernized version. Interior is a nice touch and nice wheels as well. I like it overall. Sounds aggressive. I'm going to change that and we're going to restart it. Yeah, if you guys are in the Discord, join the Discord. Link's in the uh, the stream description here. Down down below. Not here, because like, there's nothing here in the closet. So, a very, very fast off the off the hop here. Um, It's a short wheelbase, so it's a little twitchy. Do you believe Ricky? I don't believe Ricky. Oh, because you can't turn on. Oh, look at that. There we go. Does it... ah, we'll take that. We'll take that. We'll take that time out. We'll take that time out. I'll see you next stream, Ricky. Have a good one. <laughs> Come on. Pretty good time so far. It's fast in a straight line, but it's a little twitchy. A little twitchy. It sounds good, but it does sound quite good. It is, I think, lack of grip's a thing in this car. Like, uh, maybe there's oversteer. I can't tell what it is just yet, but it's just a little switchy high speed, so it wants to sort of whip side to side in a very quick motion. Well, 
one engine is the original Corvette in line six. Um, I think it was called the Blue Flame in line six is the name of it. And they switched to a V8 because no one wanted a quite underpowered in line six. Yeah, it was called the Blue Flame. Had uh, like hundred and something horsepower. It was a nice little, nice little. It was more of a European sports car um, than it was an American sports car. It's based off European cars, right? But then it got way more American with bigger engines and stuff, and now it's the car Americans know and love today. Hey, new third place. Yeah, you know, so big right? I just, I just like no car stuff. The engine was in the Firebird, same engine in Mail Vans. Yeah, depressing engine. 54.9, new third place, I think. Yeah. Mort, more stunning young man. Right, can get a shadow. Let's get a shadow for Mort. Let's get a shadow from. Give, give a big high five. Is that a high five? Is that clapping? I don't actually know. Um. What is his name, Papa? Mort, 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 buddy. You don't be. You just let loose. You, you do. You know what? I'll support whatever decision you make. It did quite good. Mid-engine four-order. That'd be that would've been wild. Uh, so a new third place. So the Cosmos picked it, kicked out a third. Now Ricky's car, uh, fifty-four point nine. Uh, opinion on the new electric Ford Lightning? I think it looks really good. Its performance specs are quite good. The range is maybe a little under what I wanted, but Ford is underrating it. It's it's gonna be higher than what they're rating it for. Like, it's not bad. I think it's not bad. A little expensive. Like it's 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 pretty average. A high five. You just like yeah. It's fine. Phil, it's fine, Phenom. Phenom, it's fine. I'm not dyslexic, I swear. We got the Mezic. Uh, I can't pronounce this word after because it's it's got some uh, accents. C T R C T Y R I. C T U R I. Yeah, the Evo 11 is what it is. We'll call it the Evo 11 because uh, I can't pronounce things that aren't in just proper normal English. The Mezic. Pull up in, and uh, yeah, give it a give it a drive. Yeah, this it's fine. Where are you, Mezic? There's some cars I'm missing though. We're, we're real that one. Okay. We got this one. We're good. Yeah, the forward lighting. I like it though. Don't smoke. That's a good life tip. Don't smoke. I support that. Um, forward lighting is not bad. I think it's pretty average. It's it's a decent car. It's it's not crazy. I think it looks really good though, and its performance specs here to 60 in like 4.5 seconds is quite good. Like I think just good truck. I think it looks quite good. It's practical. I love the interiors. Um, range is fine. All right, we got a little hatchback here. It's a Suzuki Swift body. I like the rest of front end. I like the, I like the headlights. I like the front end. I like a lot of the front end here. Got these uh, he things on the side there. The wheels. Nice screen touch. Single with few shooter exhaust. I don't like that. Uh, the back end. I'm not loving the back end as much as the front end, but overall it's not bad. Yeah, I'm interested to see what Ram does as well. Oh, they, they do something just as crazy as Ford does. Give us, give us more range would be ideal. It's a little weird. Something, something about the scarl. We'll see in a second here. Five hundred miles for the for that one for the light. I mean, it's only rated for I think three hundred miles for top trim. Something like that. Five hundred kilometers is what it's rated for. Um, but it'll do more than that. It'll do closer to 500 miles. It'll do like 600, 700, 650 kilometers probably. Oh, for the Ram? Ah, yeah, yeah. I think 500 miles of range is a pretty sweet spot to guarantee kind of range. And four is only getting 300, I think as well. So it's a little bit lower range, but like I think for like 99% of people who use trucks, it'll be fine. Here we go! Should GM bring the Pontiac Saturn, good Cadillac, and Ultimate back as one giant luxury sport brand? I mean, no need to bring the other names back into it, they just keep it as Cadillac. And Cadillac's kind of not doing well, to be honest. I mean, the crossovers are fine, but nothing else, really. Ford Fanboy Cope? Oh, Costco. Oh, honey. Oh, no. I'm a Lotus Fanboy as well. Well, Lotus is coming out with an SUV crossover. I know. It sounds like sacrilege, but uh, hopefully they can make more sports cars in the future because of that. 
What'd you miss? We're just testing some more cars. 59.8 is a fine time. Uh, decent. I'll take it. 59.8. I just pressed the wrong button there. We got the OO Velotica Modelo Speciale up next. That's a nicer name. The OO. TTSV. Oh, well, they've got the TT5 V Blackwing. Which has got the same engine. It's the same, it's the same car. The CT the CT5 V Blackwing was it's the same car as the CTSV. It's actually a little cheaper. Um with what you know a good bump of power as well. I think the CTSV looks better personally. The older one. I'm um, looking for the OO. Where are you, OO? There we go. Who's Valence against Costco? No, no, I I, I muted Costco. What are you talking about? Stock. What well, the Cadillac? The Cadillac. Uh, the Cadillac CT. The CT5 V Blackwing is the same thing as the CTSV. Same car, same chassis. Uh, very similar size, same engine. All right. Very aggressive. Love the carbon fiber. Interior's a little bare. It's, it's not. It's, it looks, oh, that's a that's a fish mouth if I've ever seen one. I'm the one touching the timeout button. It's pretty nice. It's not my taste, but it's not bad. Well, I know after this generation of Cadillac, because you know, we got the CT5V, the CT4V, um, the XT5 for whatever, all those, the names. Cadillac is going to be switching back. Factual names. They had names. Um, the Cadillac Laric, the Cadillac Celestique, etc. So interesting names. A little more fancy names, for sure. But hopefully they get some cool names for their sedans and stuff. Hopefully they keep sedans. I hope so. At least one sedan. I'm gonna get service costs down. I'm um, changing your car's intake from race to standard or performance. That is a step to do it. Um, things like tires. Change your tire size. Change your top speed. If you're using like um, electronic fuel injection, change um, the the limiter under like 180 kilometers an hour. Then it'll, and then make your tires the same size as front rear. Those are big things. New city or automation? Are we thinking of buying one of the games? Um, I'm going to tell you right now, Gustavo. I'm going to tell you right now, Gustavo. Unless you like very classic sim games, simulation games, where you, like, it's like a tycoon game. Then... Automation's the one for you. Because automation's got like a lot of tycoon aspects if you want that, but if you want to build cars, you can do an automation. Gear City's bad for building cars. That's just the, you um, know, that's it. it. It's different strokes, different blow. I actually have more hours, I think, in Gear City than I do in automation. I think. I'll double check. Maybe I don't actually anymore. I used to. Um, a 1 minute point six. The, 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 um, the DeLorean was a pretty cool car. I, I dig it. The automation, I've got 1700, and Gear City, I've got. 1700 as well actually yeah i've actually got i've got 12 more hours in gear city than i do automation 12 more hours i probably have some of the most hours of anyone ever playing gear city it's crazy uh i like the game a lot but automation is better in a lot of ways but you know if you like tycoon games gear city is the one for you i guess uh the rally 2 rear-wheel drive that's a, uh, another name that's interesting the rally 2 it's a unique name we'll hop in drive it they take care of margarine have a good old man. You got some old rally cars. We're running some old rally cars. Then we're doing 2020 rally cars. That's what we're doing all today. Um, we got like a, like five or six left. Um, we've been going for how long? An hour. Yeah, we'll, we'll finish on the two hour mark. The rally two is up next. We'll go for another half hour, probably maybe a little less, maybe a little more. Um, the rally Z. No, is that what it's supposed to be? The rally two. I think it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, bit of a stretch is needed. The sweater might have to come off soon. My hair is very soft right now. I like it. And if you guys haven't already, go to my um after after the stream or whenever. You can also open like another tab and go to my channel and go to the community tab and go ahead and vote in the poll. I'll show you guys real quick here. On my phone. Or maybe I can show you the computer actually. Wait, hold on. Can you do like this? Can you guys... you guys see this? Okay. Go like this. 
YouTube. So go ahead, and just, just hold on, hold on. I got my recommendations here. Go to this, and go ahead, guys, and just vote on the poll. Go to my community tab and vote on the poll. What, what, what are you doing? You know, what are you doing? Come on, come on, guys. Come on, guys. I'll upload my poll. Go to the, all right, all right, fair enough, fair enough. That's okay. All right. Very risky. The back end is not doing it for me. Very square. Very square. Very small headlights. Very small lights. It's a little. It's a little simple. But what you got there is fine. The for the front. The back end is a little square for my taste. But we'll launch it. And uh, the color's nice though. That's a, that's a one pro. Change camera. Sequential gearbox is nice. Oh wow. That is uh. Whoa, that's scary. Whoa, it's very rear-wheel drive, a lot of power. You can honestly answer any with any of them? Well, Dominic, that's when there's a choice where you, like, say other, you know? So, it's got severe oversteer as well as being rear-wheel drive. The brakes are kind of bad. It's super scary to drive. We're gonna take it nice and slow. Doesn't really turn. Sounds interesting though. It'd be a cool drift car, I guess. You like all? Ah, oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Not, it's just got crazy oversteer, not understeer. I mean, I haven't tested it yet, but it just seems like nuts oversteer. Like, we're only using like 25% of the power because... An oversteer pretty bad rep does like 30% of the power only. We're only using 30% right now. 20%, 10%. The new Lotus, the new event, which you should choose the new Lotus for sure. The bed is faster in the straight line, faster probably around the track, maybe I'm guessing too to be honest. I guess not much too much heavier, but it's a lot more power. But I think the Lotus is gorgeous. The core bed is okay looking, it's it's fine. I think the Lotus is gorgeous. I'd actually probably take it with the uh, AMG turbo four cylinder engine. With a dual clutch. That's what I would probably take it with personally. I know, sacrilegious. But I think it's just a gorgeous car. Yeah, it's definitely sketchy more. I think it's probably got worse stuff than that even. Like, it's just... Yeah, the barrel, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine, guys. The car did fine. Uh, 116.6. Not the best time. Not the best time. But, 0.7 actually. No, 0.6. Yeah, we're rounding. Um, it did okay. Definitely a little sketchy. Uh, we'll hop into the next one, the Taima CX500P. The Ty the Taima? Yeah. Taima. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll pronounce it that way. <laughs> Ricky. Uh, get, gets, gets time to again. I like that. I like that. That's that's, that's funny. The Taima, here we go. Ooh, it's, it's a nice BMW coupe body. What tires should I have at Rally Guards? I would say, um for this one, I would say Hard Long Life or Medium Compound is probably the best way to go. It's the best bang for your buck. Um, the... Uh, Off-road tires are terrible grip on 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 drivers or on just dry surfaces and stuff. Very terrible. Let's roast the cars. Oh, why did I roast the cars? That's not that's not what it's about. That's not what it's, it's not what it's about. If there's things I don't like, I'll try to I'll try to let you guys know. Um, but you know, I think everyone works at their own skill level and stuff. And the main part of this is, is no one's better than each other. Although I'm trying to say the best lap time, um, it's about whoever has the most fun. You know, that's what it's about. All right, so BMW body here. We got this intake on the side here. It's a little small. I don't like the black person, but the intake placement's fine. I uh, like the number in the front or on the side. Sorry, front. We got an aggressive, big old grill in the front. Headlights looks modern. 2020 blue paint's nice as well. Um, wings a little, maybe a little excessive, a little excessive. But besides that, it's not bad. Potato, yes. What about potatoes? We're gonna launch it here. Sounds good. Braking, then a second. 
a, a pretty soft suspension, which works well in this track, actually. Again, I think I said this earlier, one car quite soft suspension, and it worked nice for the bumps. This thing is very similar. A little understeer, we got some front plow there. As you see, we're touching the wall just a little bit. Get a break in second, stay in second for a second. I say that, why, why do I say that? You know, more, we haven't seen the 60th track yet, actually. The 60th track, I've got the track planned out in my head. What track we're doing. Or an idea of what the track's gonna be like, at least. Um, you can see what I'm thinking. Maybe it'll be great. You never know. Maybe it'll be torture. Like, you know. So a little bit sliding off the track here. We're okay. So lack of grip on the dirt. Just a little bit. Ah, I tried to cut it. We were losing grip. We probably would, we probably would have went off the edge anyways. The front, the front's very aggressive. You fun when you win? Fair enough, boom. Fair enough. What about my fun, boom? Boom, you ever thought about my fun? No one ever asks about my fun. Alright. 60, 60 horsepower is fine. It's depressingly low, but it's fine. It's a little bit sketchy. It does have some understeer. Sounds good, though. I think we're a little bit damaged, which is why we're not driving our best right now, but that's okay. It's very left, actually, really nicely. We're, we'll take that, we'll take that. It's damaged. What was the damage like? Hold on. How bad was it? Ah! It wasn't that bad at all, actually. It was only a little bit... Ah. It was pulling to the right. We'll restart it. It might be custom track, yep. It was pretty well. It's a little understeery. I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Brian. Thank you for asking. I appreciate that. <laughs> it's a nice Thursday day. I, I brought my car in for a, a wheel alignment, so that was nice. It was very cool outside. Only I mean, very cool. It was 16 degrees Celsius, so it wasn't that bad, but it was nice and cool for uh, how it's been you know recently. Right now it is 6 o'clock p.m. Everyone asks. When is the stream? But no one asks how is the streamer. I know. Look at that. Ooh, that was close. That was a close one. We, we cut that one nicely. We're gonna cut this corner nice as well. There we go. Stay to the right now, and now to the left, and break it. Not a perfect turn, but did okay. This is a much better run. Oh my gosh, it's doing okay this time. We're breaking early here because, yeah, it doesn't like breaking too much on dirt. Under one minute, we take that. Well, the, stream, well, the, the streamer is streaming trick. I'm streaming right now. I'm streaming, you know? Um, 59.4, great time for this car. Uh, understeery was a thing. It was very understeery. And there was a little bit less group on the pavement. But besides uh, on the gravel, sorry, the, on the pavement, it was fine. But it was fine. It did pretty good. Yeah, if they hitbox, I would not be doing as good as I'm doing. 59.4 is the time. You sound so depressed with your jokes. That's the point! That's the point. <laughs> uh, I love I love jokes. Uh, can BMG run on a 12-year-old school laptop? Uh, it, it depends on the specs. Go, I'd go look at the Steam store page and go see the specs. And go look at your laptop specs if you could find them. And if you don't know how to find them, you just Google, How do I find my computer specs? And that'll solve the problem. Yeah, it'll run and probably won't run it well, is what I would guess. The uh, Principia Venator GT is, is the fourth last car of the night. We're going to retest the final three as well to get our winner. The Prince, Prince, the Principia. Words, you know, it's got a name. Where are you, little car? Principia, the perfectly normal Mini Cooper. We uh, There's a little, another Mini Cooper body. All right, come on. Ready, ready to race. We got a woody, a woody wagon in front of us. Not if I, yeah. School, school computers usually aren't the best. Retest yours. Boom. We'll see. Boom. Boom. Maybe I'll retest it when, um, because when Phantom sends me his car, if you just egg Phantom and send his car, then I'll, I'll get test both of you guys to see who's better. You or Phantom. I've heard good things about Phantom's car. A lot of good things.
Google Docs, I'll rip. Got a Mini Cooper body here. Not looking the most 2020, but it's got some 2020 features. We got Lamborghini headlights, which is a plus. The steely wheels, I, I dig steely myself. And aggressive quad exhaust, we take that. The very aggressive wing. Oh, it makes tons of power, like scary amounts of power. So, I've got a feeling this thing's gonna be a little bit of a handful. Like, in the right hands, it's probably gonna get some mean times, but. More lag and more power. Fair enough. Oh, this thing's scary fast. Oh, scary fast. Might be the quickest car. It doesn't have any grip, though, so it doesn't matter how quick it is if it's got no grip. And the wheels are just not good. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if the brakes were that bad or if it was just me um, uh, under steering to that corner, so I'll have to retest that. I, I think the brakes are decent, it's just we were under steering badly into that corner. Gonna short ship the crap out of this thing because it's just not doing that great. It's got way too much power and stupid amounts of power. Oh, there's a bit of a sketchy part. We're fine. We're fine. I'm gonna break here. Stay in second. We're gonna cut this corner a little bit here. That's okay. That's okay. We're doing okay. The third, fourth for a second, down to third, down to second. Voila, there's the race. Okay, we'll do it again here. That thing's pretty scary. The brakes aren't the best, and it's got lack of grip overall. The short wheelbase makes it a little bit sketchy. With this much power and such a short body, it's very difficult to control at high speeds. The wing helps, but it's not enough. Come on, we're good around this corner. Woo! Into the corner nicely. We take that. Ooh. It is difficult. Car. It's a difficult car to drive for sure. It's not. A, it's a. It's a hard car to master if you like. I'll move the camera up a little bit there just to see if it scratches a little better because it's still a little car. That, this last corner, we're gonna keep going anyways. The last corner is a tough one for this car. It just slides, not too much grip overall, but it's fine. I don't want to roll over. I tried not to that time, really hard, really badly. 103, we probably got, got around a 101, I'm guessing, if we didn't. We'll take the 103.4, we'll take that. It's it's a good time. Around the average time, very fast in a straight line, but the handling was sketchy, for sure. We got three left now. Before we test the final three, we're gonna test these last three in the list here. We've got the perfectly normal Mini Cooper. Which is another Mini Cooper body car, which, if I know anything about Mini Coopers, it's going to be just, just as sketchy as the previous one. Um, got a big old wing in the front, though. After that, we have the uh, DEC Essentia Group, Group B. The Essentia Group B. Then the real Group B, too much boom. All these cars on the list here to do. The last three, actually. It's not, it's not really a lot, to be honest. It's just the last, it's just the last three. All right. Ready? All right. Oh, this thing's wide AF. Again, it's hard to make this car look like a modern car. It's a body from like 1965. But we got modern headlights, modern taillights. It's doing, it's doing part of the job there. Big old scoop in the top there. I like that. Very aggressive overall. And as long as the handle's okay, I'll be thrilled. Yeah, every time I roll over, you guys are gonna drink. You can drink water too, you know? Yeah. Do a water shot. Sequential gearbox. It's pretty fine. Tires are crazy wide. Nice turn there. It's got grip on gravel. It's got grip here. We're gripping quite good, actually. 
That was a very fast corner. This is where it's gonna get sketchy, yep. Uh, that would've been nice though. That would've been really good. It sounds quite good. It definitely feels like a rally car with these, with these lights here. That was a really good time. It's very fast. Not a perfect corner. I, I I think it might be just not the fastest call overall, but it's quite quick. Now, biggest problem so far. Uh, the biggest problem I have with this car is suspension is just too stiff. If you made it soft, it's gonna be crazy bouncy. This body is just too small to make it really stable. Um, so it is just very stiff, and any semblance of bumps and stuff throws this car right off balance and it wants to kill itself. Under forty for what? 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 140 viewers? What do you mean? The, the, the peak of this stream was like, uh, 60? I can check. The peak of this stream was only like 46. Something like that. It is part 4 of the challenges, so there's less people watching than in part 1, for example. And in other streams, there's more people watching, too. Nice corner there. Try to keep it in fourth here. Oh, that was scary, but we made it. This bump here is still here. We're going to try to go slower. We're good. Oh, that was a perfect corner. Oh, boy. I'm marking that 59.5. We'll take that. We'll take that. 59.5, I'm marking it down. It's a difficult car to do. 59.5, we're marking it down. Uh, if Group B did come back, what cars do you think with the current car? What, what cars do you think each current car manufacturer in WRC would choose to compete with? I I, I, I have to look up who is in WRC. Oh, yeah. I'll have to look up who's in WRC. I don't know off the top if of my head. If Group B did come back, what cars do you think each current car manufacturer in WRC would choose to compete with? I have to check here. Like, we're talking like, wait, wait. I'm not sure who's in WRC, to be honest, everyone. So, okay, Ford, Toyota, Hyundai, BMW, or not BMW. So, Ford, Toyota, Hyundai, uh, Citroen, Skoda. That's it. Okay, Citroen and Skoda. I, I don't know. If it'd be a Skoda, Octavia, VRS, probably. Something like that crazy. Toyota, Yaris, because it's just wild. It's the crazy... 500 horsepower Yaris or whatever. Uh, Ford? Um, it'd be a tough one. I'd, I'd just say probably the, uh, the Fiesta or the Gol or the Focus. The European one, obviously. Um, like an all-wheel drive version, maybe they have to come with the Ford Focus RS maybe for both for that, I guess, too. A Hyundai? Um, the Veloster, probably. I would say it were the, uh, the i30, which is, I think, the same thing. Uh, and then... That's it, right? That's it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Citroen, I, I don't know. I can't name too much of it. Does Citroen even have a... Like, what does Citroen use for group for rally right now, actually? What do they use? Did I tell you the story of evil Mr. McManus? No. I don't... I, no. The Focus... Oh, the Focus and Fiesta are still totally around in Europe. Like, they made a next generation Focus and Fiesta for Europe. They just didn't pull to North America. A uh, four Puma, they can do that. Well, the Puma actually is a new vehicle, right? In Europe, it's it's a it's a crossover. Um, I think it actually looks pretty nice, to be honest. If they made the, a, Puma, a Puma crossover race car, that'd be actually interesting. I'd actually be on for that, to be honest. To be really stupid, I love it. All right, next car on the list, we have the DEC teams. So this is Dutchie, Ezetos, and um, and SK. We'll hop into their car, the DEC car, right here. All right. 
Ford don't sell more cars. Yeah, Ford pulled out of Brazil. Sadly, a lot of the big ones are pulling out of Brazil. It's just... Ah. Someone's going to have to fill the void, I guess. I think, I think more Asian car companies are hopping into Brazil, though. They need a new Quattro. Yeah, oh yeah. Because I know the TT is dead. The Audi TT is dead, but it might come back as an EV. Which would be nice. This is gonna be, I don't think this car is going to be a winner. It's going to be quick, though. Now, this car does look... 2020. Got crazy aggressive styling. I like I like I like the design. It's a beautiful car. Very aggressive. Very angry. These headlights are angry. Look at that. Look at that. You can't love that. You can't love it. I love it. Very aggressive. Kind of reminds me of some like a, a, a McLaren F1 vibe from the side, actually. We turn off traction control, restart it. The Falcon Falcon would be pretty cool if they brought it back. It's beautiful. Yeah, there you go. Have a good night, Dominic. Thanks for hanging out, man. We're tough on a drive. A little bit sketchy in the gravel so far, but it's doing good. This corner is always a pain. I kind of because I don't know where the corner really goes before the corner happens. We're right up. Okay. What's up, Matthew? How you doing, bud? Thanks for hanging out. He accused me of being a drug dealer at 12 years old middle school. <laughs> that guy sounds like a champ. I like that guy. Sounds like a terrible guy, but it's so dumb. People, eh? I think it's a good looking car for sure. DC makes good looking cars always. Great, very neutral handling. Um, I'd say almost perfectly neutral. Come on, we're in third. Good rotation around that corner, which is nice. The suspension might be a little too stiff. That's my biggest gripe so far is stiff suspension. Handling is great power. It's not the fastest car overall, but it's a very fast car. We'll take it. I'm using a green screen, yeah, but just behind me. I, am I pushing it? I might be hitting it once in a while, but it's there. It's very close. I'm actually in a closet, in a literal closet. This is where my setup is. Suspension's very stiff, dodgy, I'd say. Stiff, a little bit, a little stiff. Red line's crazy. I'm doing good, Matthew. Thanks for asking, but we're just hanging out testing some cars. It's a, it's a Thursday evening. It's not Sunday. What am I talking about? Um, 57.4, that's top 10. Maybe that's not top 5, it's, it's almost top 5. But top 10 for sure. We'll take it. Drop good. I have no complaints really. So I'd say it's too stiff. I don't know, maybe, maybe I don't know. It's hard to get a feeling for it. Good time. You know, Dutchie, are you, are, you, are you the engineering master? I'm the, I'm the driver, I should know this stuff. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, obviously. The real Group B, too much boom is up next. Uh, that's the last car to test. Uh, we'll hop into that. We'll load it up and we'll just hang out for a sec. We'll load it up. Real Group B. The crossover, interesting. The only the engineer, who, who engineers it? Who engineers the cars? Is, is, is it SK? Uh, what's your PC stats, CPU, RAM, GPU? I've got um, um the full, my full stats is, I think, available in my Discord, I think. I don't know. I9, 9800K, 2070 Super, and 32 gigs of like 2800 clock speed RAM. Something like that. I'm not going to test my cards. Boom, boom, honey. We're going to test the final three again. Uh, t tell Phantom to submit his car. Once once Phantom gives me his car, I'm going to test it in Discord voice chat. Uh, and I'll test your car again as well. So. It's a crossover, it's got some aggressive, the events are a little aggressive. I'll first thing first, events, a little bit aggressive. Front end, you know what, I know it's a, oh, it's a rear car. Interesting for a crossover. I think a grill would have been nice too. That's what I would say. Like the interior, nice touch. The wing is aggressive as heck. I use the green screen. 
in a school music video. I screamed Ooga Booga while spinning in circles. In editing, I appeared to be spinning in front of random trains. <laughs> that is the most random thing I've heard all night. And I absolutely love it, Brian. Brian's a legend. I like that. That's great. It's got pea shooter exhaust. We'll launch it. We'll launch it. It's very good. Oh, yeah. Retest yours, too. No, Costco, I'm not going to retest yours. What is your opinion on the F1 2022 car? Um, I saw a picture on... Lucas, if you're in my Discord, uh, two things. First off, send me a picture of the 2020... Of which F1 car in particular. I, I saw a picture on the internet. I think maybe it would have been on Reddit, just browsing through Reddit. And I saw a picture of a new F1 car. Um, it looked very... Looks very like I don't know. I'm trying to think of a word like like soft edges. Look, didn't look as aggressive and sharp. Looked very soft and like aerodynamic, which is crazy. Let me know if that's what you're talking about. Cause it looks very aggressive. No, yeah, 17 inch wheel. I saw that. They do bigger wheels, um, which apparently is gonna be better. Yeah, it looks beautiful. I thought I thought it looked good. If that's the car I'm thinking of, it looks really good. For, uh, to me, at least, softer lines than previous cars. Yeah, I think it looked really good. Looked really good. At first, actually, I thought it was like I, I haven't seen too much. I, I don't know too much about like Formula One, Formula. Yeah, I thought it was like some, some like futuristic race car, like the, the future. And I'm like, wow, that's cool. Then I'm like, it's it's new. I'm like, wow, you know. The new NASCARs. Ah, uh, I've only seen a few of the new NASCARs. Um, I, I know they are changing up a lot. Lots of racing's changing up for you know emission standards, etc. I'll look at that more specifically. Um. You crashed for the first time and kept going. It's top three. It's well. It's actually fourth place now. You think they make it slower? Ah, okay. They make it slower. Fair enough. W why does it make it slower? If you, if you want to, like, uh, there's a video on that. Why made it slower? If you want to let me know, like, I'll, I'm, I'm down to here. Like, why do they go up to 17s now? Huh? That's a question. Uh, I was planning on watching a video just talking about that. Woo! A little bouncy. It's uh, it's rear engine in a crossover, which is very interesting in itself. It's pretty quick, zero to sixty. About four seconds or so, which is quite quick, obviously, for a street car. These are race cars. So Gormex. It's, it, it's got windows. It's not a pedal van, exactly. This is the kind of van that it doesn't have candy. Um, it's got you know, it's got hot dogs and pizza, and it's picking your kids up from baseball. Um. Except the van is disgustingly weird because it's mid-engine, got a massive wing, and it's just crazy fast. I butchered that corner super hard. I don't know what's happening there. We'll launch it. Help remove overtaking. Uh, help small teams lower budget. Ah, fair enough. And Dragon. Ah, awesome. Well, I think also another pro is the cars look just crazy good. That's another pro. A crossover is a sports car, okay, Gustavo? Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, okay? It's 2021. Crossovers can be whatever they want to be, you know? Staying in third gear here, just cruising around the corner. Oh, no, we probably should went to fourth. That's okay. We popped into fourth for a second. We're going to try to turn this one nicely this time. Oh! Oh! It's strange to turn. The rear engine really doesn't like that. We'll be a little more gentle, I think, on it this time. Don't test the final three, the top three. Uh, and see what we can do for a uh, our, our, our champion of the Group B Rally Cars. You saw Urus? Uh, Urus is, I think the Urus looks pretty nice. Very aggressive cars. I haven't seen any in Manitoba, but I have seen them in, in uh, Vegas when I was in Vegas. That was back in 2019, actually, right when they came out. Imagine if Ford made him crossover SUV. Uh, a, you know what, Lucas? I, I like the mach -E in a lot of ways. The name, I mean, I, I don't love the name. But I can live with it, you know? As long as the Mustang Coupe lives on. That's that's what matters to me. Nova Scotia, oh wow, dang. I don't think I've seen any in, in Manitoba. I've seen some RSQ8s though. Uh, a few of them. I've seen some Bentegas, but no Urus. I don't think any Urus's. I've seen like lots of other things, crazy things like some Tycons. Um, like the high end Tycons too, not, not the low end ones. Um, Better, but yeah, not not a uh, Urus. I don't think. Does yeah, yeah. Fair enough, Luca. I I can live with the name, but I can see what the name is. It's not it's not it's not a Mustang. It's it's different. Not bad though. One hundred six point seven is a fine time. You know what? 
it's a crossover. I don't know what you expected, guys. 106.7 is absolutely mind-blowing for a crossover. So, uh, the top three we've got so far. We've got a 54.9. Uh, that is the Ford RS200 Retro Modern. We've got a... There's a lot of cards here to scroll through. And there's no way to sort it well, to be honest. Um, this is so difficult to sort through. Uh, 54.1, which is the Miso uh, Kachiku Khan WRC. The Kachiku Khan. We got a 54.4, the Demona Ank. So three cards with 54 seconds. Those are our top three. We're going to retest them. I'll retest them in the order I tested them originally. So first up would be, oh, I gotta look through it again. The Miso Kuchi Khan WRC. Well, I haven't seen much 458s actually. I like 458s, they're great. I think I'm actually the 488s better looking with the 458s. It's better sounding. So we'll hop into the, the Kuchi Khan. This, what does that mean in Japanese? Does that mean something in Japanese? I feel like that's some, this is a Japanese name. Magic Dodge actually went EV. Yeah. Imagine. No, no, I think I'm excited for what they can do. EV muscle kind of cars. So, the Misa Kuchi Khan. We'll give it a couple tries. An EV Urus, yeah. An EV Urus would be pretty cool. If I had like a thousand horse, I'd be pretty crazy. Uh, looks. I've looked at this car before already. It's aggressive looks. I like the uh, the front decals there. Oh, no, Holden. Holden's cool. Alright, come on. I'm going to try to focus here a little bit. And set the best times of these cars possible. Great handling. It's a little understory, but there was just so much grip. So much grip. New best time. Hold the one out. Yeah, such a bad fashion. Yeah, yeah. I wish they kept the Falcon, uh, the, the Ford Falcon, the the Australian one. Great car. I loved it. Um, I I'm an XR6 kind of guy. The XR8 is fine, but I, I like the XR6. It's just a, it's a four door Mustang. You bet we have more power. Probably. We have more power. It's not about, it's not about power. It's about it's about everything. You know the package. So, that car got a new time of 54.0. 54 flat. It rounds down just barely, but it rounds down. That was the uh, Miso Kuchi car. It went from a 54.1 down to a 54.0. Crazy, crazy fast car. Uh, we'll, we're we're, we're going to keep it. We got one clean lap, in, clean lap. There's maybe one thing I can improve on that one quarter, maybe a little bit, but half a second maybe. Okay, up next we got the Demona Ank. This is by Charles Shinny. He's one of my server admins. You see, he makes some pretty uh, crazy cars. It's hit and miss their handling, but this one is apparently quite good. I will hop into that. Demona Inc. XR6. Vara. Yeah, Vara gang. I, I drove a Ford Maverick, which is... um, It's what came after the Ford Falcon. But in Australia, they just kept calling it the Falcon. They just kept going in the Falcon. And in North America, they, they made the Maverick. And then they killed it, which is sad. Uh, one of the engine swap options I would choose for the Maverick would be a Vara. Oh, yeah. It would be a Vara. I see like the XR6, which means Barra. Barra gang, that's all I can say. All right, it's a Sins car. Uh, it's very aggressive looking. It's very crazy looking. The, the headlights kind of, is, is that intentionally glitched out or not? I don't know, but it's crazy looking. We'll hop in. I, I, I distinctly remember this car being a handful. The 
it to me is probably the most iconic. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'd say it's probably the most iconic. My favorite personally is the newest one. I know. I know. I like newer cars personally. But I think they all are crazy for the most part. Awesome cars. Oh the Falcon. Every generation of Falcon's really cool. And these cars, this car and the previous car are just such a dream to drive compared to a lot of the cars. Oh, we're gonna keep going here. I might restart this one. I, I like to give each one a couple tries. I that corner there was a little bit botched. Let's beat the time here. Worst time. Okay, 55 flat. Worst time. Barra? Barra? I'm not Australian, okay? I'm not upside down. Maybe I pronounce it upside down, but I'm not upside down. That was my bad, I wasn't looking. Alright. Not bad, look at this grip. Ounces of grip. Is ounces good? Pounds of grip? Lots of grip. The fuck it's a grip? Ounces? That's not, that's not the first thing you choose. The wind is scraping, which does actually affect your speed. Oh, no, that was good. You, 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 you don't even need a game PC, just a decent PC. Like a, a 1050 will run this game decently, I think, or okayly at least. Now the biggest problem with this, with this car is it's very, it's, it's the high center of gravity, it's tippy. It's a very short wheelbase. High speed stability is lower than some other cars. The other car is quite short too, but this car is just lower. Better range remakes it there than the previous car. Still not perfect. Oh, I, I butchered that gear change. We'll keep going anyways. Now, I'm only giving these things usually around three tries. If it's not my fault. That was my fault. Too much, too much Australian. See, I don't watch too much Australian YouTubers. That's, that's the thing. Maybe I'm... I gotta start living upside down, you know? I gotta sit back a little bit more just to... Get the most of these cars. Come on, we're good, baby. A tough corner for sure. Tough corner for sure. We gotta get one good in. What's up, only sim guy? How you doing, bud? Welcome to the stream. We're just testing the car. I'm focusing here. We're really focused today. Now, I don't have the best driving position for, like, racing and stuff in my setup, so it's harder to get, like, the perfect thing. I've actually only turned the steering wheel, like, a quarter turn to get my full flock. It's a very aggressive steering setup. We can here stay in third now. I keep feeling like for some reason we're in another gear than we're in it. I keep going on a neutral. I don't know why. Uh, if this was a dual clutch, we wouldn't have that problem. That's one thing I would say. Maybe dual clutch would be nice then. It's hard finding negative things to say about this car. Like, not as positive things. But this car drives so well. We'll take that. New leader. New leader. We'll take it. 50... 3.3 Great time. Um, I'm gonna do like this top three and that was a 54. 54. And it since was a 53.3. Really good time. 53.3. All right, all right. We're gonna make this event again. Yep. So we're not doing Group B next. The next challenge is 1960 sports cars. All the rules for that challenge, and there is a good bit of rules are in my Discord. Link is in the uh, description of the stream. So if you join the Discord, you can look at the rules. They're in one of the channels. Um, the channel is just called Hashtag Community Challenges, and you know you'll find it there. Uh, the final car is one that we got a record with earlier. That was the Ford RS200 Retro Modern. I don't think we'll get as good time with that one. That was the slowest of the three top, top cars. But it still did very good. Um, 
I have driven it more because I've driven it today. The other cars I drove, drove weeks ago. There's only two days left before the deadline, exactly. After Ford AU shut down. This goes, oh, that's interesting, good to know. It's always my fault. Exactly. Exactly, more. It's always my fault. That's what I'm learning today. So, uh, we're looking for Ford. Where's the Ford? We're good. Okay, my, my contact almost fell there by blinking too hard. Ford, where are Ford RS200. Modern, we'll hop into that. Boop, boom. Is, is it the one within the 19, 19, uh, 1946, I don't know if it's 1969, all the rules were in the Discord, that challenge is from 1968 bodies, so you can have 1946 to 1968. So, final car, 60's on steel or dirt, uh, why, well, I, I can't tell you, you just gotta make the car to the rules and I'll tell you, and whatever it's being driven on is, is not told. What's up, Gaming with Emerald? How you doing, bud? So this car, a little slower off the launch than the other cars, but it's, I think it's faster overall. It does have some soft suspension. And Lucas, if you're in the if you're in the Discord, you do get a special rank for donating on stream. So if you're in the Discord, just give me a pin after, and I'll give you a, a donator rank that you get for donating any amount of money on stream. Perfect entry. This thing is a really a dream. It's a bigger body than the previous two cars, uh, or it feels longer at the very least. Um, longer wheelbase, it feels like for sure. I, I, I mean, I, I'll bet it is longer overall. Um, and it's much easier to control higher speeds. Much easier. Now I feel like it might be not be as, as fast and as grippy as the other two cars, but what it lacks in that, it makes up for just stability. Yeah, I, I don't think we're beating that. I don't think we're beating that time. It drove very well, though. This is a very stable car. Uh, was a 54.8. I think that's slightly better. Yeah, slightly better. Top three. Yeah, join, yeah, Lucas, join the Discord. And then uh, just ping me, and I'll give you your donator roll. Donators actually get their cars tested first. They do get priority. This one is different. Um, but generally speaking, donators will get their cars tested before everyone else. How do I find mods and automation on the Steam Workshop? You go to Steam, you go to Automation, there's a Workshop button, you click that, and Bob's your uncle. Sheesh! Lucas says, sheesh! Fair enough. And then just give me a ping, Lucas, when you get a Discord, and I'll give you your, uh... How do we donate? Uh, there's a donate button. Somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know where, though. It's somewhere. And you click that, and then it donates, I guess. I I, I can't tell. I do donate $5. When? When? You don't have to donate a rank. Wait, wait, boom, do you have to donate a rank? Do you have to donate a rank? Did you oh, yeah, you donated, yeah. I drove your car, Boom! I drove your car. Your car did good. All right. What I'll do? We'll give Boom's car a test. We'll give SK's car a test. Boom! What was your car, Boom? I don't know what your car was. Well, I'll test the DEC car again. We'll, we'll test the DEC because they're up in arms. SK's gonna throw me out of the house, and I mean like, you know, literally, he's gonna come to the house and throw me out of my, my own house. Tool Exodus. Okay, we'll do that first because I can't find the DEC's car because I'm blind. Even though it's up at top. We'll do this one first. Lotus Bodies, it's not that good. It's just not that good. It's... It's just, it's just not that good. But we'll, we'll test it, boom. Alright? But regardless of the time it gets, I'm not putting the top three because I'm lazy. That's that. We'll test it for another minute. I mean, it's it's been, it's been two hours, but we'll go a little longer, even though I'm sweating buckets. We got Boom's car. It's a Lotus. Lotus looks. What more is needed to be said? We're gonna launch it here. Oh, that was not the wrong. Uh, 
<laughs> I like that trade off more. We'll do Boom's car, but he won't be able to. Yeah, he won't comment. We'll take that. We'll take that. The longer gears. Okay, so right off the top here, I'm noticing Boom. It is definitely sketchier than the other cars. Less grip. Uh, it feels like at least it, it's high speed stability is actually quite good, but it feels like it just a little less stable. We're gonna we're gonna lift the camera up a little higher even. My bad. Mods muted people for no reason must watch. No, no, no. It was a trade-off. The trade-off is I test this car again and he gets muted. That's that's a very fair trade, even though... How do I ping on Discord? Um, You just type in the at symbol. And then you can type someone's name after that and just find my name. My name is just Wooden Turbos. You will see it's, it's got my um my YouTube icon. Or just just just, just talk in the, the general chat, the hashtag general chat. Um, and I'll, I'll find you. Just say hi, I'm Lucas, and I'll, uh, I'll find you. It's just after the stream. Or if someone else wants to give them the, um, the roll as well. Donator roll. There's two rolls I gotta give. Donators and then stream donators. Alright. It is more difficult than the other cars, boom. It's more difficult. I'm telling you right now. No, no, Dutchie, it's fine. SK's already harassing me more than enough. It's okay. I'm assuming you guys are probably on a lot of call, because I feel like that's what you guys would be doing. It's not for zeros, and there you go. See, see, Mort's fair. Love tap. We're okay. It's harder to drive, boom, for sure, than the other cars. For sure, harder to drive. It's amazing. Welcome back, bud. <laughs> we're almost finishing up here. We're, we're, we're getting the finish line. It's movement's definitely hard. I'm, I'm going to finish a lap here, but I can't promise what we'll do. It just feels a little more out of source. It's just a little bit, um, it's twitchy. It's twitchy. Not as stable as the other cars, even though it's a bigger body. We're gonna try that again. I gotta get one clean lap in. Alright. There's a lot of focus going on here. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's just not as stable. That's tough. A little understeer? I don't know if it's understeer, but... There's a good corner. I mean, it's for sure under 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 a minute, but... How much under a minute is, 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 you know, anyone's guess. What's the joke? Yeah, Mason, I want to hear the joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was a perfect garbage can corner. We'll take it, 54.2. Perfect. That was a perfect last corner. You gotta give it to me. That was a perfect last corner. Hampered to the perfect time. What you the... I've, I've done the rally mini. I've done the rally mini. Roscoe, I'm not testing Boob's car because he's a donator. That was not the reason. I gotta update these times now. I don't even know what your car's called, Boom. Gosh darn it. You're making me do work here. Oh, yeah. What was your car called, Boom? I can't... Oh, I gotta, I gotta check this if way. If you're testing Boom because he's a donator. A Tulip. Boom, honestly, I, I, I shouldn't even have tested your car because it's a lowercase letters. Why is Tulip in lowercase? That's my question. I don't even know what time we just got, actually. What time did we just get? 54? Point something? I will just do that for now. 54.4. What time did we just get? I don't know. Did it say? Oh, wait. 
54.2, okay. How much did the pirate pay to get his ears pierced? Buccaneer. <laughs> That's the, I love these dad jokes. These are great. 54.2 is what I got. I'll change that. All right, we'll do that. We'll do DECs next. Then we'll do Costco's. If he if he hired this this comp, I would have wait what? Thank you, Costco. Why is Costco? I'm testing your car, not because you donated, because just because I'm great, uh, obviously. Uh, we're doing DECs first. I just want one clean lap regardless of time is ordered. One clean lap regardless of time, clean enough lap. Wall tap is fine. DEC, we've already seen DEC. We're not gonna look at it again. We'll just hop right in. All right. Oh, the LJ Zeon? Yeah. If it's been the rules, you just send him whatever. I'm assuming... Lucas, I'm assuming your Discord name is L-U-C-A dollar sign. I'm going to assume that's you. All right. DC car. I, I don't know if we're going to get a better time. I feel like the time we go was pretty good on it, but we'll try. Okay, yeah, I'll give you that rank in a second there, bud. And if you send in a car, yeah, you, you, your car just gets tested first. Tested first. The first group. Which means I might drive slower because I'm not as warmed up to the track. But, yeah, you don't have to wait. Nope. No need to rush? Yeah! Oh, Lucas! No rush at all. No rush at all. No rush at all, man. We're just chillaxing, playing some games. I think this car can do a nice little drift. Like, this car is definitely more stable than Booms. But, is it faster? I don't know. I think Booms brakes are better. Water's empty! You know what that means, guys. We're, we're getting towards the end. He's on right? Okay. Thank you, Mort. I appreciate that. So not the best corner back there, but there's a nice entry negative on this one, which we take. And a nice corner here, which is fine. We'll take this. And right here is fine as well. There's a bit of a rock. We're good. Uh, is that better? We did have one wall tap. We did have one wall tap. Better. It's better. 55.3. One wall tap. It could probably be 54s. But, I think that's pretty fair, Dutchie and uh, SK and everyone else, you guys. Alright, my springs and dampers are probably terrible. Honestly, I mean, my car did pretty good. My car got like a, a one minute flat and I just, I didn't tune it at all. So I'll take my car. It's great. Uh, and Costco's, which, Costco, you don't even have to say what your, what your car is. Ozzy, 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 oi, 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 is that what we're doing? The Costco, I just look at your car and it's like, it's Costco's car, you know? Just obvious. Um, down here. There we go. See, I know that. Ozzy, 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 whoa, whoa, yeah, I know that. This. And that. All right. No, boom, it's fine. Boom, it's good. Your car did good. Your car drove good. It was a little, it was just a little bit twitchy. A little bit like skating on ice almost. Um, lack of overall, but I don't know. It's hard to explain. Boy, in Portuguese, hot. Boy, there you go. All right, click on Colossus Car. We've looked at the looks. The hatchback, very high revving. Very aggressive exhaust. I want the camera up a little higher so I restarted it. We've got the water here, guys. I'm just, I'm dehydrated. I'm, I'm barely even lucid right now. The gearing is short. Shorter than the competition, for sure. The shortest of the competition that we're doing. The top five that we're doing, I guess, basically. 
This, this car definitely is noticeably softer suspension. This body also is quite short, similar to Sin's car, so I think it's gonna be a little bit sketchy. At some point, it's not the best entry exit here, that's okay. A little sliding, we're okay. Yep, we're good. Not the best last quarter, another quarter was pretty fine. The car was way better with 3,000 sway bars. 55.3, is that the same as before? No, it wasn't before, it was before. I really hate this layout right now because I can't search, search to sort by cars. I don't know, well, it was the previous time. Fifty-five point seven. Fifty-five point two. An improvement. We'll take it. It did good. Um I don't have too much problems. Suspension was maybe too soft. Gearing was maybe too short. But did good. Third place now? I don't think third place. Cause one's a fifty-three point three, one's fifty-four, and one's fifty-four. It's, it's not third place, Costco. It's not third place. Um It is Fourth place? Still? Or fifth place, maybe. What was Booms, the tulip? What was Booms? I I can't sort at all do this. Tulip. The 4.2. So yeah, four, fifth place. Yeah, you have, yeah, so fifth place, yeah. So Boom was fourth, fifth, Costco was fifth, and DEC I think is sixth by 0.1 second off by tenth of a second. Uh, but DEC did tap the wall though, we'll give it that. They did tap the wall. They're the only person who had a wall tap. Here's 54.2. Or 55.2, sorry. 55.2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, was it 54 55? Here's the 54.2, I think. One of the two. Either way, it's fine. Uh, but not bad overall. Was it 54 54. 54. So here's the third, technically. Booms is the third, technically. And then the other one was fourth. But... It's not going on my official top three. I mean, it might, whatever. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll, 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 I'll try to post the times up on Discord at some point in the future. Only 34. Yeah, we're, we're, we're at the tail end of the stream. Fry pan. We're finishing off here. We're going to finish off here, actually. Uh, we've been going for a, a, it's a longer stream than usual. Two hours and 20 minutes. A little long. Um, so congrats to the winners here. So the, the fastest car was the 53.3 uh, second Demona Angst. That was Childish Sin's car, fastest car. Uh, buy a margin, actually. Buy over a second. Almost a second. Uh, have a great night, guys. This is the Groupie Rally Car Challenge. These streams will stay for another day or two. Then I'll take them down and I'll re-upload them on my VOD channel. Um, you can find that from my main channel. Um, and the winners I'll post on my Discord. Um, I'll post all the times on my Discord when I get a moment. And I gotta organize this in a more effective way of showing times. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great night. And I'll see you guys next time, I guess. Bye. <laughs> So I gotta, I gotta, I gotta end this the stream. All right, bye guys.